This edition of Mac Voices is supported by you, our viewers and listeners, through our new Patreon campaign. If you get value from Mac Voices, please consider helping support the show by visiting patreon.com slash macvoices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, the road to Mac stock 2018 ends here, right now, right here with Mr. Mike Potter. Mike, it's great to see you. <laughs> it's great to see you too, Chuck. And I, I tell you, I came home. I, you know, we talked about this before. I was installing a sign on my wife's storefront all afternoon. So I came home. I said, I got to change. I got to put on something really cool for Chuck. So I put on my apple tree shirt. This is an apple tree. Well, and it's, it's all it's filled with apples. Well, I was ready to say uh, Merry Christmas because I'm wearing red, you're wearing green, so we look very festive. But it's just the wrong yeah. time of year for that. Well, it just felt wrong. As much as I like to promote Mac stock, it just felt wrong to put on a Mac stock shirt and have the hat. So, it, you know, there is a limit to self-promotion. Huh. And so I, I think I hit that limit. But I still have my Apple, my Apple theme shirt. Yep, you kept with the theme. That's good. That's good. Well, it's, we haven't talked. I mean, we talked a couple times now as, as we approach Mac stock. This will be the yeah. last time that we talk before Mac stock, at least for this year. Um, yeah, I know. I know. But I've had a great time talking to all the speakers and a lot of the people that are presenting and doing things at Mac stock. Um, and now I'm ready to pack my bags and head for Chicago. But you recently added something a little bit new to the Mac stock mix uh, for the people that might not be able to get there. I did. I did. Yes. I, uh, this is something that's kind of been in the works for a little while. Uh, we're calling it the digital pass. Now, what's cool about the digital pass is that I'd, I've been hearing from a number of folks who really, really wanted to make it to Mac stack this year. They couldn't for uh, personal reasons, professional reasons. They didn't have vacation time. Um, in in one particular case, they, they had recently a, a broken a limb. <laughs> They're not really ready to travel. And uh, it, it's for these folks, I wanted to create some way for them to participate in MaxDoc, even if it wasn't going to be the entire conference. So uh, it took a few weeks of planning, um, took some involvement from uh, it, some of my advisors like you and and uh, Oliver from Boink Software. And 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 we, we put together something that I think is going to be really cool. Uh, we're calling it the Digital Pass. And what's unique about this is it, it's not live streaming. So uh, it, it's, it's really a focus on the talks. It's a focus on the presenters, uh, which is, you know, a big part of MaxDoc are these uh, fantastic presenters that you've been interviewing all these weeks for Road to MaxDoc, a series I just love, by the way. I, <laughs> I can't you. get enough of Road to MaxDoc, and I only have one to catch up on, and I'll be all set. But a uh, fantastic series, and if... if Folks seeing this haven't watched them all yet. Please go watch them. Uh, there's also a link to every single Road to Mac Stock 2018 on the Mac Stock website as well. So check check them out because it's a it's it's a fantastic way to get to know all the speakers who are going to be there. Um, but it, what the Digital Pass does is it gives someone the opportunity to um, buy, buy a ticket, if you will, to uh, see all the talks, all the 20-minute talks and all the uh, main stage deeper dive talks from the weekend. And um, we might even th we might throw in a little extra content as well. I have a couple ideas for some things I'd like to do. Uh, maybe we'll do some live streaming or just some pickup footage from uh, Barry's evening event. Uh, you know, just something to give everybody a taste of this. But uh, for the folks who can't make it, I really wanted to come up with a way for them to participate, and the digital pass is it. So um, it, I, I'm excited about it, and it's something that's not only available now in the days leading up to MaxDoc, but it's also going to be available um, for uh, several weeks after MaxDoc ends. And what will happen is after MaxDoc ends, we we get all the, the video files together, get them released, uh, get them on the um, Digital Pass page on the MaxDoc website. And uh, uh, this is all going to happen within a few weeks of MaxDoc ending. So within just a few short weeks of the, the end of this year's conference, folks who buy Digital Pass will be able to uh, uh, see all the talks. 
I, I love this idea. And, and one point I want to make sure we are clear on is this is not just somebody sitting in the front row trying to, you know, hold a camera steady. You are hiring some professional video people to, you know, make this a quality kind of thing. We're going to try to make it as quality as we can. Uh, I bought uh, uh, some really fantastic equipment. And this is one of the ideas I have for uh, a bonus <laughs> bonus video, if you will, is um, – uh, showing all the equipment and how it works and and how we're going to be using it at MaxDoc. And uh, I'm excited about it. And, and yeah, it's my, it's my friend Eric who's going to be coming along, Eric Erickson. He's with Tyranina Digital out of California, and he's going to be um, uh, at MaxDoc. And he's going to be um, essentially our director, if you, if you will, director and producer to help make sure that we get all these out. And, uh, you know, kind of the other unique thing about it is I, I just kind of want to let the cameras roll. This isn't going to be one of those things where we edit down all the videos. So basically, if something happens in between the talks and the cameras pick it up, it, it's it's going to be there. It's going to be there for folks. There's going to be a couple cuts. Uh, we're still talking about how we're going to present the morning content versus the afternoon content. Are we going to let it all be one big, large file or are we going to split it? I'm kind of leaning towards the split it thing just to make it easier on folks. But basically, that split is going to be a cut. And the next video is going to pick up where that one left off as as close as possible. So uh, really, it's going to be like like you're there. And there's only a couple things that won't be included in the digital pass. Uh, one will be uh, love notes to Newton uh, with the default digital pass. It's you know quite frankly that's it's not my movie to give away. Right. <laughs> and then that's really the point. Uh, but I am working closely with Noah to see how we can make it happen so that folks who who uh, want to get the movie can. But ultimately, even if they don't purchase it through the MaxDoc website, they'll be able to get it through newtfilm.com. And the nice thing about uh, no matter which way they get it, whether they get it through MaxDoc or they get it through newtfilm.com, the nice thing is all the proceeds go to a uh, wonderful charity. So, uh, it, you know, either way the folks get the movie, uh, they're going to be able to enjoy it, and uh, the, they're going to they're going to know that the money that they spent is is going to a good cause. I, I, the, 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 the love notes to Newton was a really interesting addition this year, um, and of course, you know, I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm looking forward, and Noah and I talked about it. Uh, the idea that we're going to both get to see it in a in a room full of Apple enthusiasts, and I think that's going to be quite a bit different than if you were screening it at home, you know, on your sofa or on the back porch or whatever. Um, so I, I'm I'm looking forward to that, and I just I love I love the whole. This is a celebration of of Apple stuff, um, Apple gear, Apple history, Apple everything. But the productivity theme, I think, has really tightened the whole idea down because um, every one of the presenters seems to be going at this at a little bit different angle. And I think everyone that I've talked to has been pretty enthused about you know, what they're trying to present and how they're going to present it. I think it's really given the speakers a good focus, and uh, that's something that we didn't have before. All the talks were fantastic. 2015, 2016, 2017, we had just phenomenal talks. But the the speakers had trouble finding that focus, and once they did, there were there were no problems at all. But this year, I kind of said, "Here, here's your focus. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you how to approach it. But this is that this is that sphere within which I, I would like you to pre present your topic. So there's there's still going to be an incredible range of topics at MaxTech this year." But they're all going to be uh, uh, bookended. I keep mixing my metaphors. I'm sorry. <laughs> they're going to be they're going to be bookended by this this topic of productivity. Yeah. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be really cool. I think it's going to be very cool. And and the great thing about the, this is the morning sessions are 20 minutes on the main stage. And yes. so if if <clears throat> something doesn't resonate with you, that's great. You either can wait 20 minutes and, and listen to whatever it is or, right. you know, go to the hall and have, you know, what, what I call the hall track <clears throat> of meeting people and discussing things and then <laughs> right. come back in, t in 20 minutes and you'll have something brand new. And then if it did resonate with you, then there's an hour deeper dive in, in, in the afternoons for you to dig into that information a whole lot more. 
Yeah, I you know I think people need that in a in a two day conference is is just that opportunity to walk away from it. I I've personally gone to conferences and I know you and I have talked and you've said the same thing. You've gone to conferences and you see the schedule and you're like you know that sounds like an interesting talk, but I I just I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in the hallway. I'm gonna have I'm I'm gonna go talk to these other folks who needed that little twenty minute break. So sometimes that's the case. Uh, I have found in the past, though, that most people really, they're, they're riveted by these 20-minute talks. But if there's something that you're not particularly interested in, the nice thing about the deeper dive sessions in the afternoon, which, by the way, came about uh, because speakers said, you know, I, I, I love the concept of 20 minutes. It allows me to focus and streamline my talk. But sometimes I'd like a little bit more time. So we, we have that 20-minute talk in the morning. That's kind of your primer, your introduction to the speaker's topic. And then in the afternoon, we have their 45-minute deeper dive. So really, every speaker gets an hour and five minutes to present their topic, which is a pretty healthy amount of time. So they're going to be running parallel in the afternoon. So our, our speakers in the morning are going to be paired up. Uh, main stage and then the larger breakout room and folks will be completely free to choose which one they would like to learn a, a little bit more about. And if they say, hey, I'm going to go use this time to go take a walk around the campus, well, they can do that too. Yeah. I also want to make sure that we mention, because I don't think it had happened the, when you were here last, is that we have a gold sponsor this year and it's one of my favorite things. Yes, Text Expander. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, Smile Software's Text Expander is our gold sponsor this year, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, first time uh, they're sponsoring MaxDoc, and and I hope not the last because I'm a big user of their software as well. Uh, and in fact, uh, the the moment they announced their anniversary stickers. Now, did you did you get your anniversary stickers? I got my it, anniversary stickers. Yeah, it, they they announced that if you sent them a self addressed stamped envelope, they're going to send you an envelope stuffed full of anniversary stickers. The the moment I saw that, I sent off for them, and it wasn't because they're a sponsor of MaxDoc. It's because I just really enjoy using their software so much, and in my case, it's uh, PDF Pen Pro, mm. which is one of my go tos. I I can't tell you how many times per day I open that thing up and I'm using it to edit and OCR documents and. Um, I use it uh, uh, quite extensively, uh, but this year specifically, the gold sponsor is Text Expander by Smile Software. So it's really uh, with a focus on Text Expander, uh, but the, it's it's fantastic to have them with us. Yeah, well, and and first of all, full disclosure, they're they're pr the longest running sponsor of Mac Voices. Smile is, and but same thing, they're quality people. That's quality software. It's something that mm -hmm. I use multiple times an hour you know there's just there's it's I, I can't I almost can't imagine using my Mac without text expander so I'm, I was delighted when I saw that announcement come out that I, okay and it seems like such a perfect fit you know text expander productivity what could be better it it, it really is a fantastic fit uh, you know one of my rules <clears throat> with my podcast when I, I I dabbled with sponsors for a while on my podcast and I ended up not continuing with it I, I kind of preferred the the show without him it it did it, it breaks up the flow it for me mm -hmm. um i actually like the way you present it I, I i like the way that you do it at the beginning and the end and it doesn't really break up the the um the content if you will but i, I don't know it's just one of those things i almost felt yeah i i, I, I don't need this you know i'm doing the podcast because i really enjoy doing it i like to share information and uh you know sponsors are great it helps pay the the hosting bills and things like that but yeah but but my rule, I was getting to a point. My my rule, you you've known me long enough. It takes me a little while sometimes <laughs> to get to a point. My rule has always been I did not want to accept sponsorship from an organization or a business or anything whose products I would not use myself. And that is my rule with MacStock. If it's a product or a, a, a service that I would not use myself, that I would not feel comfortable mentioning to someone and saying, hey, you should check this out, I really do not want to accept them as a sponsor at MacStock. And it, it's not a commentary on what their, what their service is or what their software is or anything like that. It's just, you know, if this is something I can't stand behind, I, I really don't want them to be a sponsor of MaxDoc. And, and certainly Text Expander and Smile Software in particular, um, yeah, I, I can definitely stand behind their products. Yeah. 
with you completely. So we've talked about 11 notes to Newton. We've talked about the digital pass. We've talked about the format. Um, yeah. One other thing I want <clears throat> to touch on, in fact, I emailed you just to make sure it was happening. And I know it, it was in some Uh-oh. of the newsletters, but not all of them. Um, I, I might have missed that email. <laughs> no, no, no. You, no, you, no, you responded. Um, is, oh, okay, is, the, uh, is, it the, is it, I believe it's called the Mac Stock Swap? Oh, the Mac Stock Swap. Yeah. Yes. yes. So that went out. Um, uh, it's coming back. Oh yeah. my gosh! Last year it was just one of those ideas where I thought, you know, I I, I just really like this idea. If someone has some extra hardware sitting around that they they really don't need or want to use anymore, but they would like to find a good home for it, that MacStock would be the great, perfect, the perfect place to bring that hardware and 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 set it out and say, please find my, whatever, a good home. And that's exactly what happened. Oh, my gosh. I was so stunned last year. I expected maybe, you know, half a table of stuff and, you know, probably that that rat's nest of wires and things. But that's not what people brought. They brought really useful, fantastic hardware that they just had no place for anymore in, in their life. And except for, I, I kid you not, we had, what did we have? Do you remember? It was like two or three tables, like banquet tables filled with stuff. I came back to my office with two boxes that were maybe 20 inches by 24 inches with leftovers. That was yeah. it. Everything else found a home. And uh, people liked it so much, I said, well, gosh darn it, it's coming back again this year. And uh, I've already heard from a number of folks who are, are bringing things, and uh, I, I'm excited. I have yeah. to confess to you, when you announced that last year, I thought, okay, this this one it'll be interesting to see because it's it's probably just going to be some of the local people, um, and they're going to bring you know the things that they know we're going to need. And to your point, you know the rat's nest of wires and that kind of thing. Yeah. Somebody brought a Mac Pro. I, I mean, know, you know, and and it, it was it was amazing, and it, there was no exchange of funds or there was no. no fighting over anything. In fact, I saw some people, you know. In fact, I think that happened with the Mac Pro, where somebody was interested and they ended up giving it to someone else. They did, um, you know, yeah. and they went so, to a very good home. Yeah, and 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 I, I I love that, and it just I I did not expect it, but it sort of just embodied the whole spirit of Mac stock. That you know, yeah. hey, if 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 yeah, I could use it, but if you can make better use of it here, here you go, you know, and and right. I just I love that. So I'm I'm trying to figure out a way to bring some stuff of my own um, since I'm flying. That could be a little bit of an issue, but I, I'm going to contribute something to the table. That's that's great. Uh, uh, Guy Searle. Oh, my gosh. Guy came last year with uh, it must have been an entire car full of stuff. Uh, and, and a lot of it was new. That was the amazing thing. It was it was stuff that he he purchased and said, oh, I think I can use this. And then it turned out he, he couldn't use it. And, you know, turn if he didn't bring it all. Yeah. All to Mac stock. Yeah. And every every single bit of it found found a good home. Yeah. <laughs> so that's was awesome. You've done a really interesting job of of. Of, of evolving Mac stock and adding these just those, yeah. those little things, those little touches that I think make it kind of special. And, and I just, I, I love the way that Mac stock has gone um, from the first year I came to, to now it's, it, it was great then and it just gets better. And, and I'm, oh, I'm so you. looking forward to this year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the, the, um, it really has evolved and it's grown, and I, I will admit there's a, there's a, a little bit of pressure to make sure that it's it it continues to do so. But I can't can't can I tell you something? For Mac Stock Five next year, we've got an idea on the table that I think is going to be really exciting for folks, and we're going to announce it this year. Oh, at at, at the end of at the end of Mac Stock 2018. We're going to announce this new idea, and I, th- I think people will dig it. Okay. I, it it's, it's pretty cool. It's wow. pretty cool. Um, now, I'm, yeah. now I'm really excited. That's, that's, that's See, great. Yeah, we're, we're here. You got to go. You got to go. Yeah, we're talking up this year's, this year's uh, event, and already we're starting to talk about next year's. So. No, that, well, that's you got you to gotta think ahead. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, but I'm a little embarrassed, too. We sort of jumped there to the end because yeah. um, we didn't even touch on the evening events. And that too right. is extremely, extremely important part of Max Talk. Yeah, it really is. You know, um, it, it kind of the the origins, if you will, uh, Barry's Midwest Mac Barbecue is is kind of what started the ball rolling, and and um, 
got me to uh, get off my duff and actually do something with this idea I'd had. And uh, fortunately, you know, Barry and I being such good friends, it worked out really well to combine our two events into one weekend. And that was the first Max Doc, really. And and and, and I've talked about this on the show before, and I I don't. I don't mean to bring that up again, but um, every year, every year he evolves it. Every year he does something different. Uh, uh, 2016, we had the barbecue uh, right on the grounds of MCC. Uh, the first year it was <laughs> it was in Barry's backyard. Um, uh, the second year was on the grounds of MCC. Uh, last year, the third year, we had it at Mix and Mingle in Woodstock, downtown Woodstock. And uh, this year... Uh, Barry has um, actually added a little bit. So not only is there something Saturday evening, but he's also put together a little icebreaker for Friday evening. So Friday is people come into town. It's not formal. It's there's no invitation needed. Now we do ask it's it you know it should be limited to folks who have the two day weekend pass because sure. that's what helps cover our expenses. But. Um, uh, it's 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 at Bulldog Ale House, which is right in front of the Hampton Inn. Hampton Inn is our part, our premier partner hotel this year. Uh, we sold them out, which is awesome. Uh, but it, but the Comfort Inn in Crystal Lake still has rooms available. In fact, uh, Janice from the Comfort Inn, I should announce this too, just told me this week that they are going to extend the block for anyone who would like to uh, reserve a room, even though the block officially ended July 6th. They are going to extend it all the way up through. Uh, the start of Max Doc. So if you're still coming, if you're still looking for a great deal on a hotel room, the Comfort Inn of Crystal Lake has a fantastic deal of $89 a night for two queens. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, right in front of the Hampton Inn in McHenry is the Bulldog Ale House, and uh, Barry is putting together a little... Um, well, he was just on. He was just on Road to Max Doc, so I don't need to, to say all this again. But uh, uh, Friday evening... Just a couple hours, light appetizers, and it's just an opportunity for folks who maybe don't know each other to kind of break the ice and uh, form form those new friendships a little bit earlier this year. Uh, normally, they've they you know those things happen during Max Talk. This year can happen a little bit earlier, which I think is really exciting. And then uh, Saturday evening after uh, Max Talk will come to a close at five on Saturday. Oh, and I have an important announcement about Sunday as well. Uh, which I'm going to be putting out in the Max Doc newsletter. But uh, come come to a close at five. Uh, people will make their way back to the Hampton Inn and the Bulldog Ale House for some um, appetizers and and uh, what did he call it? Not, not it, light appetizers Friday. What does he call it Saturday? It's like it's still appetizers, but it's like it's not heavy appetizers. I don't know what his terminology <laughs> is for it. It's something. Food. It's it's food. Yeah. yeah, there's food available. And then uh, po folks can make their way over to the Hampton. Again, they've been very generous with their time and, and support of Max Doc. They have made available two of their, their rooms for us, and they're going to be broken up into um, uh, 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 rooms where folks can just have a great time playing games. One is going to be classic, family-focused um, uh, entertainment, uh, board games, you know, the monopolies and risks and, and things like that. And then the other, uh, and and I'll, I'll be a complete poser and pretend like I know what's happening with that, but it's uh, an Apple TV game of some sort that uh, Barry and his, his friends play all the time, and I'll be darned if I can remember the name of it, and I'm so sorry. But uh, it and, and that room in particular is going to be 21+. Plus. And the reason it's 21 plus is because that's the room where he's going to be serving alcohol. Mm. The family friendly room. Uh, actually, we're going to have some really cool uh, Japanese sodas in there, Remune sodas. Uh, and it's something that I'm bringing to the table. And there's more to that story. But uh, it's it's really neat uh, not to not to go too far down that path. But these Japanese sodas come in a glass bottle and they're sealed by a glass marble and the pressure of the of the soda, you know, the carbonated soda inside keeps that marble in place. So they come with a little plunger, and you got to push out the marble, and then you could get access to the soda. It is one of the oldest ways of sealing carbonated beverages, and this is the only product that I'm aware of in the world that still uses this method. Hmm. Everyone else has switched to screw tops or, or um, uh, you know, bottle caps and things like that. But I'm bringing those to the to to the table and. 
all kinds of really cool flavors. They're all imported from Japan, and I think folks are going to really dig them. So that's cool. That'll that, be fun. Yeah. yeah. I also heard word that there's going to be karaoke. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there's going to be karaoke. Uh, Are you going probably to be not. I, I will not be singing. No. Yeah. Um, this is a Gene McDonald and Kelly Gumont thing. Uh, they are apparently um, quite the pair when you put a karaoke microphone in their hands. And this is something I'm I'm super super eager to witness, but not super super eager to participate in. Uh, but yes, uh, Barry, <laughs> Barry is renting a karaoke machine, and I understand that uh, this is going to be solely within the hands of uh, Kelly. She is going to be running the uh, karaoke <laughs> event that night. So yes, there is, and I'm I'm trusting there will be some footage of various participants available the next day. Yeah, as I recall, with the, with the year that you did the barbecue, I think we got uh, some really great footage of uh, Don McAllister doing a Beatles cover. So <laughs> there was, and Don's back this year. Yeah, Don, and you Don know, has he, said he was he's practicing. So yeah, oh, see, I didn't know that. So he he uh, unfortunately couldn't make it last year, but he's going to be back again this year, and I'm so so uh, excited to be able to see him again. And yeah. uh, this will be his his third year. Yeah, coming his, to Max Doc. Yeah, his, his return to the stage, if you will. His return to the stage. <laughs> yeah, he's he. I will say he's he's very good. Yeah, he. I I was. I mean, not to be smart about it, but I was quite surprised. I didn't know that uh, he had that kind of voice. So yeah, good job, Don. Well, we're yeah. looking. We're looking for your your next album. Well, uh, you know, when you live near where the Beatles are famous for for coming from, you. You kind of kind of have to be something in the water, apparently. Something in the water, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something in the water, exactly. So you said something about a Sunday night announcement. Oh yes, uh, thank you. So uh, just happened today. We are so crammed full of awesomeness on Sunday that I'm sorry. I had I had to say it that way. We are so crammed full of awesomeness on Sunday that I had to extend the hours to 6.30 on Sunday evening. Wow. So we were we were scheduled to get out at 6, but I, I just could not do justice to the last few things we had to fit in for the day, which is uh, notably uh, Love Notes to Newton, uh, Noah's movie, uh, and um, uh, the Q&A for after that. And also I wanted to make sure I gave Wally enough time to do a proper deeper dive for his video to go three. So... Um, that all kind of came about because, uh, you know, I, I came up with the schedule for this year and then two really awesome things happened. I got a keynote speaker and we got this movie added and uh, I thought, God, yeah, I can make this work. I can make this work. No problem. And today I made it work by calling the school and say, can I have an extra half hour? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's going to make it work. So, yeah, so cram full of stuff. It's going to be really cool, and uh, I, I just I didn't want anyone to be cut short, so uh, we're extending by a half hour, and uh, that way I can make sure that, uh, especially for the Q and A, because I think that's going to be really important. Uh, there's a there's so many amazing things that Noah did to help make this movie happen that I wanted to make sure that folks could could ask him about those things and um, uh, make sure we had enough time to do that without shuttling him off the stage and yeah. saying we got to pack things up. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, one thing in talking to you about this, you can just see the enthousi enthusiasm in your eyes and, and oh. your voice and everything. I mean, it, it really does boil over. This is truly a, a labor of love for you. And, and, and I know how much everyone that has ever attended a Mac stock appreciates the efforts that you and, and your crew put in. It, it means a lot to us because it, it gives us a place to go to see our friends, to, to hear cool presentations, meet new people, and just have a great time. You know, it's funny because it was just today, literally just today, that um, – uh, oop, did I lose you? Okay. No, I, d I didn't lose you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got, a, I got a, a warning on my screen that I was going to lose you. Hmm. Um, it, it, was, it was really just today that uh, I was trading emails with someone and um, they said, you know, I, I think I'd like to help out next year if I can. 
And I said, that would be fantastic. And the, the thing, the, the way I replied is I said, you know, I might be the organizer, but Max Doc is to this day, four years into it, still very much a uh, community effort. And it's a community effort that is only possible because of the contributions of so many folks like yourself and Allison and Noah and and all these these fantastic people around the world that help me pull it off each summer. And I don't think I can emphasize that enough, how important it is that um, uh, uh, Max Doc is truly a community event. It's it's always going to be a community event at its heart. Yes, there's this educational uh, component of it, and there's fantastic talks, and there there is some there's some learning. There's some learning <laughs> in it, and and all that. But there's also a lot of fun, and there's a lot of friends. And even if you don't think you're going to come out of it making friends, I I truly hope that you do, and and you take this opportunity to introduce yourself to new people that you've never met before, and uh, uh, avail yourself of what we're making available to you at at MaxDoc, and and that's this this giant community effort. That's that again. It's only possible because of everyone who's who's banded together to make it happen every year. I, there, there is that community feel. There's, there's no question about it. There's, but still, there's the guy that's sitting there in the green shirt that has to go through all the headaches and talk to the college and, <laughs> yeah, right, and uh, and and make it happen. So. You know, it's it, it's truly an honor to help support it and and be a, a very small part of it. I I just appreciate what you do so much, and and on behalf of everybody that doesn't get the chance to say it, thank you. Well, you're very welcome. But thank enough you. of that. Enough, enough of that. that. It's all about you guys. It's 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 not, it's not it's not about me. I I enjoy. You know, I wouldn't do this if I didn't enjoy it. I enjoy it so much, and I I've always enjoyed this kind of thing. I always enjoy um, uh, sharing knowledge with people. I always enjoy sharing friendships and just having fantastic conversations with people. And that's exactly what what Max Doc allows me to do. And uh, I it's my honor to to be able to put it on every year. Well, um, we're going to have a great time this year, and, and already now I'm looking forward to next year, which is a little strange since I haven't gotten there this year, but you know, we'll do it. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's make very clear here that mm. uh, you can still come to Max Talk. You know, you can still, oh, yeah. there, as Mike said, there are hotel rooms available. Planes are taking off and landing all the time, and it's a relatively short hop out to, uh, to Woodstock, and mm -hmm. we're just going to have a great time. So come. we're still selling tickets to this day. Yeah. Uh, uh, just sold a couple today. Uh, r really, you can you can walk up to our registration desk the the day of Max Doc and buy a ticket if you'd like to. Uh, we may not have the shirt ready for you. We may not have a, a you know we may not have everything all set and ready to go for you. But if you walk up the day of Max Doc and and you buy a ticket, I guarantee you will have a shirt. I will mail it to you within a few weeks of Max Doc ending. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so, I, since you don't have a code because you're not a speaker, um, I, will, I will give them my code, which is Mac Voices, and that gets you the best price possible. It gets you the early bird price that is not available to anybody else unless you have one of the other speaker codes. And I've said this every single time. I don't care if you use my speaker code or if you use one of the others. Just please come to Mac Stock, and you're going to have a blast. I, I can't oversell it. It's just that simple. I, Yep, yeah, that's that's exactly right. It's yeah. it's it's a great time every year. So I'm going to do my own little Mac stock announcement here. Um, oh, I'm I, I am planning on. You're changing your topic. No, no, no. I'm not. Not no. I won't do that to you. Um, no, I'm going to be trying to do trying to do some live streaming from Mac stock. Um, on oh, the Mac excellent. Voices page, not the Mac Voices group page, but the Mac Voices page on Facebook, um, because of some of the technical behind the scenes things, it'll be going to the page. Now, we all know how those remote things work. Sometimes they, they work flawlessly and sometimes they don't. So, and, and 
because I want to enjoy the event. I'm not trying to tell you that I'm going to be on, you know, live on Facebook at any given time. So you'll, if, if you want to follow me on Facebook, you'll get notifications when it does pop up. If you don't happen to be there when I go live, don't worry about it. It will still show up on the Mac Voices page and will eventually be released to the Mac Voices feeds um, the way they normally are. In the event that the feed situation does not work out like we want, Again, don't worry about it. Anything we record, we will be releasing a little bit later uh, as a way to document at least some of the things going on in MacStock. So join us live, join us after the fact, but definitely join us in person at MacStock. What yep. do you think, Mike? I, I think that's fantastic. Great. Come join us. Yes. MacStock. So I will see you in a very short time. Yeah, one week. This is this is uh, Thursday. One week from tomorrow we'll be seeing each other yes well and of course that's right now as we're recording this will be going out a little bit later so less than one week from less tomorrow, than one week from tomorrow <laughs> we'll be seeing each other <laughs> all right max stock 2018 be there be there be there thanks mike i'll see you soon thanks truck Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. One more time, MacStock2018.com, the code Mac Voices. Join us at Woodstock uh, for MacStock. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Visit MacVoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, Consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com. Yeah. <sighs> What a ham. What a ham. <laughs>